In this video, we're going to learn the difference between a concave versus a convex polygon. All right, so first, um, I'm going to put little examples of each one. So if you have a concave polygon, it can look something like this. Uh, now imagine all my lines are just straight lines, basically. All right, and that would be a concave polygon. I always like to say our concave polygon makes a little cave. All right, but if you really want to continue with that, a concave polygon, um, the real definition behind that is what you need to do is imagine that each one of these lines continues forever, each one of these segments. So if I was going to continue the segment forever here, it would go this way and that way, and it's going on and it won't touch any other part of the polygon. If I continue this segment here, up and down, again, I do not touch any part of the polygon. The next segment here, I'm coming, I go this way forever, I continue the segment to a line, this one goes this way, and oh no, I am inside the polygon. At that point, I know that this is a concave polygon, because if I extend one of the segments, at least one of the segments, and it goes inside of the polygon, then we can say it's a concave polygon. So I can keep drawing this, oh look, it fails again, and then oh here, it doesn't fail, it passes our little concave test. So a convex polygon being a little different, a convex polygon is, uh, we have something like this. So let me just draw a little polygon here. And again, imagine all my little segments are straight, okay? And that would be an example of a convex polygon. I was like a joke, convex is like you're flexing, flexing a little muscle here. So if we have a little, a little guy here, if I can draw this, ooh, not an artist at all. And there we go, he's got a little arm here, it's a little dude, all right? <laughs> Oh man, it's horrible. All right, here we go, we have a little hand. One, two, that's three, four, five, there we go. He's flexing. And so a, concave, a convex is like a, you're flexing here, flexing. But again, we can show our little test, um, our test here with a, with a little line test. And we can tape each one of these segments forever. And if we see that they go on forever, these segments, they will not intersect inside, okay, inside of the polygon. And then we can know that we have a convex polygon. But a quick way to remember is convex is you're flexing muscles, always protruding outwards, and concave is making a little cave here to hang out with. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was informative. And uh, please subscribe in the, uh, below. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you. Have a good day.